What's up everyone, this is the first episode of this series. Now, I know a lot of you people out there have the same questions as each other, and the main question being, uh, you know, you're really enthusiastic about getting started with an ant colony, but you do not have a clue where to start, you don't know anything about um or uh, should I say mimicology, which is the correct terms to use for ant keeping or studying ants. And uh, this uh, series is going to be for you people out there who want to start an ant colony and be success successful and want to learn about mimicology and uh, ants. And I'm sure that once you've watched all these tutorials, and uh, you know, study them properly, watch them properly, then you'll be absolutely fine. Now, I remember back in around 2009, which wasn't really that long ago, I was sat right here, and I absolutely was fascinated with ants. I did not know anything about them, the time, I knew a lot about uh, insects like butterflies. I don't know if you can see, you know, over which way over here. You can see the butterfly collection over there, which is what I collected. Obviously, I didn't kill them; they were already found like that. But um, yeah, the one above there is what I bought. But yeah, the, the rest of them is what I found. So yeah, I was sat here and I didn't know anything about ants. And I always used to go to places such as the Lake District, which is in the north of England, in Cumbria. And I always used to uh, find ant colonies and uh, I also used to find a lot of elates if you don't know what an elate is, it's basically new queens that come out of uh, <coughs> the nest, you know, the flying, what you would think is flying ants, is the elates, which are uh, the new queens. So I was uh, very curious in what to do on a, well, how to start my own colony. I So at first, when I first started, when I didn't know anything, the first uh, steps that I took was to try and uh, uh, start a colony. So uh, I think it was around August 2009. I uh, this I found a lot of the lakes. So uh, I, f I collected a queen elate and I got a, a mating queen elate when the when the elates mate then the male elates will die off and the, the queens will uh, lose their wings, they, they attach with a hook and the hook will, uh, you know, their wings will fall off from there. Um, so I remember getting this uh, jar about so big, a jam jar, filling it with um, soil, sand and stuff, and putting the queen in there. And uh, from then, I didn't know what to do. I put water in the, um, you know, to make the, you know, like the uh, sand and soil damp. I knew that, so that they could dig, the queen could dig. And the queen did dig, went down, and I didn't know anything then. And after a couple of weeks, me being with the stupid didn't know anything, I thought that the queen had died, so I threw it in the bin. So, uh, then I thought that I, I knew I was doing uh, something wrong. At the time I didn't know what it was, but I knew I was doing something uh, wrong. So, um, later on I uh, discovered the, uh, what's the name, these, um, these plastic and farms that you can buy from um, 
think I bought mine from the uh, from Woolworths, which is a uh, store in this country which was shut down a few years ago. But they used to send, sell these ant uh, green plastic ant farms, which uh, you could put worker ants in there and they would dig. Um, that was the um, second thing that I did to, to try and start my own colony. I still didn't know anything about uh, ants and uh, I was never successful with um, putting the workers into these plastic ant farms. Now the first website that, <coughs> well should I say, um, in between August, well after August 2009, about 2010 in the summer of 2010, I went completely off uh, ants, and that I went into. Um, I just in, it, like enjoyed uh, social insects in general, such as bees, wasps, and uh, that lasted about a few months before I gave up on that completely and went back to ants. Before I uh, f found. Um, Sorry, one second, I've been called on Skype. So yeah, the first website that I came across with ants was called Mi uh, Mirims, Mirims, I don't know how you say that, Mirims Ant Nest. And it's, it was a, a website, it still is a website that's up today, I'll put the link to that website in the description. And it was the first website that I came across. <coughs> and that night I was reading through... Uh, the whole website, I remember, and it has uh, on the website uh, information about British ant species, it has information how to keep ants, what to keep them in, and it also has a journal section where other, other users posted their stories about keeping ants and how they keep them, and um, I was reading through that all, uh, all the information, and it stuck in my head all this information, because I actually enjoyed studying about ants and it stuck in my head for instance the names of ant, ant species stuck in my head straight away I don't know how they just did um, and also <coughs> as after I've been reading the, through the website that night I um, decided that I'll, I'll have to do a start my own ant colony so I uh, went to uh, I searched on Google um, <coughs> searched on Google um, ant colonies by ant colonies and I found ant store which was the first um, ant selling website so I went there and I um, bought some laces Niger which is the common black garden ant in this country and yeah, from uh, then on, I gradually learnt more and more over time about ants and, and their habitats and how to keep them. And this uh, um, series, I've got all my knowledge and I'm going to be giving it all out to you people out there who are wondering the same as I was back in 2009. And I always thought I'd never know anything about ants, you know, I'd never be able to keep ants, I always thought that, I always thought I'd be failing, and I just didn't uh, know anything at the start, and now, I, um, I think I know a lot about my micology, so this is why I'm creating this series, to, um, you know, help you people out there who I uh, were wondering the same thing back when I, that I was uh, wondering. So uh, that was an uh, overview of uh, how I learned about mimericology. So in the next episode, I will be uh, it will be the first episode teaching you how to start your own colony. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.